The stage is set and the prospect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge of their ability to perform under pressure. Only one team can come out on top. Who will it be? We have you completely covered. The live action is next on EA TV. Potentially a night of excitement ahead at one of the most famous stadia in world football. We are at Anfield here in Liverpool. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Liverpool facing Brighton and Hove Albion. Thanks Derek. Well both managers will be reminding their players. Well back! Oh tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. What can they do from here? Oh, that's a super piece of defending. A real opening now. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. That is how to apply the pressure. Pascal Gross. And scope for them to produce something exciting. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. And getting in the way of that superb defensive play. Now, that's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? So we have an early booking here to report, Stuart. Yeah, and I think the referee's absolutely right. He's just making it clear to all the players out there he's not going to take any messing about here. Now, options are plenty. Well, it came to nothing in the end. see this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best and there's certainly no doubt about the finish he really hits it with power and accuracy nothing the keeper can do about that well Jurgen Klopp can't control his delight can he it's a wonderful moment for him and his team and the ball moving again what sort of response will we see from them now Pascal Gross. Joao Pedro. Welbeck. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Diaz. Can he take the chance? And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is.
And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Billy Gilmore. Now, let's see what they can do here. Cross. And defending as a unit. Well back. And it's gone behind for the corner. <laughs> Favouring the short one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And teammates around him. Gross. Well back. Nicely timed tackle. And Liverpool might be able to cash in. But they took care of the situation defensively. Estupinian. Billy Gilmore for well, using the space really well but now can they push on oh what an opportunity a goal that's exactly what they needed that should get them believing again well I have to say this is a really good goal he skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away excellent stuff from him Well, as you can see from his reaction, Jurgen Klopp's team have just lost their way here, and he's certainly not happy. Virgil van Dijk. Here's Robertson. Virgil van Dijk. Great vision to switch the play. Van Dijk with it. Well, a decent position for Liverpool to be in. Might lead to a chance. Oh, big opportunity. What a vital intervention. Well, he's given it away. Oh, the threat is there. Well back. And this to level it. Well, there it is. Real resilience for you, having been two goals down. Well, I don't think he did quite enough there. He got a touch on it, but in the end, he can't keep it out. He won't be happy with that. Well, I have to say, you can understand his frustration. This is going to be an edgy game now. So, underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Konate. And on to Alexander-Arnold. Virgil van Dijk. Now with Konate. Alexander Arnold. Will he play it in? Now, maybe room here for the counter attack. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Into the advanced position. A chance now with the corner. Played over. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. And that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield.
Well, truth be told, his influence on this game has been very limited. What have you made of his performance, Stuart? Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointing. Well, they've kicked off the second half here at Anfield. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Encouraging move from Liverpool. Gives it a go. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now. But these fans have suddenly come to life. Corner kick played in. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. Underway again, and we're being treated to plenty of goals. 3-2 at the moment. Mitoma. This is looking threatening. Well back. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. It's a short one. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And that'll be Brighton's ball. Mitoma. It's with Welbeck. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Under pressure here. Salah. And Feltman with it here. Gilmore. Jan Paul van Hecke. On to Gross. Promising attack, this. Chance to finish. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Number six, James Milner. Let's see about the delivery. Just a matter of thumping it away. And forcing the error. Milner! Splendid defending. Short corner it is. Growing pressure here, and another corner. But he's gone short with it. And playing it back. Feltman. Will they get themselves level here? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. 
Well, no surprise there. Brighton have been in control over the last 15 minutes and they've played some good football. It's just now about taking one of those chances to get back into the game. McAllister. Oh, genuine chance. And he struck the post. Well, could that be the turning point for Brighton? Something needs to change here because they've been second best so far. Advantage played. And Sufati. Oh, can he take the chance? Well, couldn't put it away. Couldn't square the game. Well, that was a great opportunity. They should really be level now. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Oh, good vision. It's a neat move. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Able to skip past his man. And Sufati. He's foiled them on his own. Time, can you please remain where you are? Diogo Jota. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Oh, could be. Shot blocked, but still alive. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact, and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. Well, there's a man who knows his team have been good today. Jurgen Klopp would have wanted this sort of performance from his team. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Pascal Gors. Joao Pedro. Here's Milner. Now look at this. They might be able to cash in here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Decent looking pass. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Who can he pick out? And a long way out. That's a good pass. Well, I don't think high marks are going to be dished out for that effort. Well, I can see what he was trying to do, but he just got it all wrong there. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number five, Ibrahim Kamate, to be replaced by number 32, Joe Matic. And threading it through, could be in here. Well, when you're trailing by a couple of goals, there's no margin for error. Well, you can't miss those sort of chances. That was their ticket back into the game. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Alexander-Arnold. And so into the final five minutes. Ansu Fati. And veering in. Can they produce something? And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively.
Well, as you can see from his reaction, his team have just lost their way here, and he's not happy, is he? Neither side shy about shooting in this match. Alexander-Arnold. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. And Thiago. Gakpo. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here's the replay in confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Ferguson. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And a very good challenge. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. And Thiago. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. The sound of the referee's whistle. This match is in the history books, and it goes down as a Liverpool victory. Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.